Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. I think you're going to really enjoy this meditation today. I've compiled some of the amazing affirmations that we've read in previous lessons, including the Dynamic Thought series. There is a ton of really good affirmations in the Dynamic Thought series by Henry Thomas Hamblin. Also, there's some really amazing affirmations in the Psychionis series, especially in the first four lessons about finding the power of the living God. There's some amazing affirmations in the episode by Orison Sweat Martin, Heart to Heart Talks with Yourself, including a few questions that are pretty powerful. So what I've done is gathered these and compiled these together, including some new affirmations as well from Dr. Joseph Murphy in his book, Riches Are Your Right. Now, this first round, we will do the regular affirmations and we will create another version of this that is binaural as well. I will repeat each affirmation three times, which I find very powerful. First time you hear it, consider it. The second time, really feel into it. And the third time, make it emphatic and try to use the repetition of the affirmations as a way to strengthen your own power that you put behind them. So I want you to find a place to relax. You can either lie down or rest in a very comfortable chair. Make sure there is no interruptions possible. You can slowly close your eyes and take a deep breath. Feel your breath slow down and let go of the outside world. Breathe in again. Place your hand upon your heart as you breathe out. like you to focus on your heart and say these affirmations from your heart. When you say them, don't simply just repeat them. I want you to put yourself into the reality of the affirmation. Make it real within you. These are just words. You give them power. You give them power by placing them in your heart. And as you continue to relax, I want you to continue breathing in and focusing on your heart. Relaxing your body, scanning your body, relaxing your feet and your legs, your arms, your chest, stomach, back. Relax your neck and all the muscles in your face, forehead. Relax your tongue. If there's anything else that causes tension or is uncomfortable, just adjust yourself or let it go. I want you to just escape from your body. When you're saying these affirmations, I want you to find that place that is beyond your body. When you say this, connected with your heart. Feel yourself falling into the chair, becoming light at the same time. Within me are infinite powers seeking expression. In the past, because I did not know of their existence, they have been stifled and suppressed. Now, I will, they shall be called into activity and find perfect and full expression in my body in the form of perfect health, in my life in the form of success an achievement in my heart in the form of a mighty upwelling of joy and happiness. 
within me are infinite powers seeking expression. In the past, because I did not know of their existence, they have been stifled and suppressed. Now, I will that they shall be called into activity and find perfect and full expression in my body in the form of perfect health, in my life in the form of success and achievement, in my heart in the form of a mighty upwelling of joy and happiness. Within me are infinite powers seeking expression. In the past, because I did not know of their existence, they have been stifled and suppressed. Now, I will that they shall be called into activity and find perfect and full expression in my body in the form of perfect health, in my life in the form of success and achievement, in my heart in the form of a mighty upwelling of joy and happiness. Now, that I have discovered this hidden and inexhaustible store of power and energy, my life is transformed. Weakness gives place to strength, sorrow to happiness, morbidness to radiant joy, pessimism to divine optimism, despair to hope, failure to success, poverty to prosperity, sickness to health. Henceforth, only the highest good can come into my life. Now that I have discovered this hidden and inexhaustible store of power and energy, my life is transformed. Weakness gives place to strength, sorrow to happiness, morbidness to radiant joy, pessimism to divine optimism, despair to hope, failure to success, poverty to prosperity, sickness to health, henceforth only the highest good can come into my life. Now that I have discovered this hidden and an inexhaustible store of power and energy, my life is transformed. Weakness gives place to strength, sorrow to happiness, morbidness to radiant joy, pessimism to divine optimism, despair to hope, failure to success, poverty to prosperity, sickness to health. Henceforth, only the highest good can come into my life. Now, by the power of my thought forces, I am allied and joined to the infinite principle of good, and we have become one. Henceforth, for me, there is and can be no evil, only infinite good. Now, by the power of my thought forces, I am allied with and joined to the infinite principle of good, and we have become one. Henceforth, for me, there is and can be no evil, only infinite good. Now, by the power of my thought forces, I am allied with and joined to the infinite principle of good, and we have become one. Henceforth, for me there is and can be no evil, only infinite good. All evil is now cast out of my life because I am one with the infinite good. No evil can come nigh my dwelling. Nothing can harm or destroy. Henceforth, by scientific thinking, I control my life, for my life is the result or effect of my thoughts. All evil is now cast out of my life, because I am one with the infinite good. No evil can come nigh my dwelling. Nothing can harm or destroy. Henceforth, by scientific thinking, I control my life, for my life is the result or effect of my thoughts. All evil is now cast out of my life because I am one with the infinite good. 
No evil can come nigh my dwelling. Nothing can harm or destroy. Henceforth, by scientific thinking, I control my life, for my life is the result or effect of my thoughts. When evil thoughts or weak thoughts or impure thoughts or failure thoughts or fear thoughts or poverty thoughts or hate thoughts or disease thoughts assail me, I will cast them out and think only of thoughts of love and strength, of health and prosperity, of success and achievement, and of the infinite perfection with which I am now allied and of which I form a part. When evil thoughts or weak thoughts or impure thoughts or failure thoughts or fear thoughts or poverty thoughts or hate thoughts or disease thoughts assail me, I will cast them out and think only of thoughts of love and strength, of health and prosperity, of success and achievement, and of the infinite perfection with which I am now allied and of which I form a part. When evil thoughts or weak thoughts or impure thoughts or failure thoughts or fear thoughts or poverty thoughts or hate thoughts or disease thoughts, when they assail me, I will cast them out and think only thoughts of love and strength of health and prosperity of success and achievement and of the infinite perfection with which I am now allied and of which I form a part. In this perfect world, there is no competition. There is no failure. I am a perfect mental creature gifted with infinite powers and I am above competition. I am success. In this perfect world, there is no competition. There is no failure. I am a perfect mental creature gifted with infinite powers and I am above competition. I am success. In this perfect world, there is no competition. There is no failure. I am a perfect mental creature gifted with infinite powers and I am above competition. I am success. My subliminal mind can draw upon the universal intelligence and solve all my problems. My subliminal mind can draw upon the universal intelligence and solve all my problems. My subliminal mind can draw upon the universal intelligence and solve all my problems. Mine is a life of overcoming and power. Henceforward, I will cease doing and will instead do. I do this by the infinite power within me, which can never fail. Mine is a life of overcoming and power. Henceforward, I will cease doing and will instead do. I do this by the infinite power within me, which can never fail. Mine is a life of overcoming and power. Henceforward, I will cease doing and will instead do. I do this by the infinite power within me, which can never fail. In the past, I have listened to the distracting voices of this imperfect, unsatisfying life of the senses. I've been pulled this way and that by desire, by impulse, by uncontrolled emotions and have been influenced by the advice of those who have no inward knowledge 
Henceforth, I turn a deaf ear to all these voices and listen only to the inward voice which always speaks with perfect wisdom. No more shall I be perplexed and worried, not knowing which way to turn or what to do. Instead, I shall be guided perfectly by the inward voice of inspiration. I raise my mind above this life of the senses and dwell in the perfect world of mind. All thoughts and suggestions and states that are not in harmony with the highest good, I reverse into their opposites. Thus do I cleanse my mind, my thought, my life, my circumstances, my world, and build up my life anew. When perplexed or faced with difficult problems, I retire into my inner self, and by thought control I keep out or reverse the unwanted thought until my inner mind is stilled and calm, and I can hear the inner voice of wisdom. The voice of wisdom never errs, never leads astray, but always guides me toward the highest good. Therefore. I have no worry or care or perplexity because I always know how to act even in the most perplexing circumstances, being guided perfectly by the inner voice of wisdom. Henceforth, there is for me no care, anxiety, or worry because I am guided into all good. Every good and perfect thing is mine now. Health, prosperity, happiness, peace of mind are all mine here and now. In the past, I've listened to the distracting voices of this imperfect, unsatisfying life of the senses. I've been pulled this way and that by desire, by impulse, by uncontrolled emotions, and have been influenced by the advice of those who've had no inward knowledge. Henceforth, I turn a deaf ear to all these voices and listen only to the inward voice which always speaks with perfect wisdom. No more shall I be perplexed and worried not knowing which way to turn or what to do. Instead, I shall be guided perfectly by the inward voice of inspiration. I raise my mind above this life of the senses and dwell in the perfect world of mind. All thoughts and suggestions and states that are not in harmony with the highest good, I reverse into their opposites. Thus. Do I cleanse my mind, my thought, my life, my circumstances, my world, and build up my life anew? When perplexed or faced with difficult problems, I retire to my inner self, and by thought control, I keep out or reverse the unwanted thought until my inner mind is stilled and calmed, and I can hear the inner voice of wisdom. This voice of wisdom never errs never leads astray, but always guides me toward the highest good. Therefore, I have no worry or care or perplexity because I always know how to act even in the most perplexing circumstances, being guided perfectly by the inner voice of wisdom. Henceforth, there is for me no care, anxiety, or worry because I am guided into all good. Every good and perfect thing is mine now. Health, prosperity, happiness, peace of mind are all mine here and now. In the past, I have listened to the distracting voices of this imperfect, unsatisfying life of the senses. I've been pulled this way and that by desire, by impulse, by uncontrolled emotions, and have been influenced by the advice of those who've had no inward knowledge. Henceforth, I turn a deaf ear to all those voices and listen only to the inward voice which always speaks with perfect wisdom. No more shall I be perplexed and worried, not knowing which way to turn or what to do. Instead, I shall be guided perfectly by the inward voice of inspiration. I raise my mind above this life of the senses and dwell in the perfect world of mind. All thoughts and suggestions and states that are not in harmony with the highest good, I reverse into their opposites. Thus do I cleanse my mind, my thought, my life, my circumstances, my world, and build up my life anew. When perplexed or faced with difficult problems, I retire into my inner self, 
and by thought control I keep out or reverse the unwanted thought until my inner mind is stilled and calmed and I can hear the inner voice of wisdom. The voice of wisdom never errs, never leads astray, but always guides me toward the highest good. Therefore I have no worry or care or perplexity because I always know how to act even in the most perplexing circumstances, being guided perfectly by the inner voice of wisdom. Henceforth there is for me no care, anxiety or worry because I am guided into all good. Every good and perfect thing that is mine now, health, prosperity, happiness, peace of mind are all mine here and now. I am a perfect mental creature and thus can never be angry. There is no anger in this perfect world of mind. All is love and goodwill. I am a perfect mental creature. Thus, I can never be angry. There is no anger in this perfect world of mind. All is love and goodwill. I am a perfect mental creature that can never be angry. There is no anger in this perfect world of mind. All is love and goodwill. I am success. I am a perfect mental creature, one with the source of all good, part of the universal mind. I am success like a magnet. I attract to me all that I need. A thousand invisible forces hasten to do my bidding. I'm carried along by an irresistible power. I am success, success, success. I am success. I am a perfect mental creature, one with the source of all good, part of the universal mind. I am success like a magnet. I attract to me all that I need. A thousand invisible forces hasten to do my bidding. I am carried along by an irresistible power. I am success, success, success. I am success. I am a perfect mental creature, one with the source of all good, part of the universal mind. I am success like a magnet. I attract to me all that I need. A thousand invisible forces hasten to do my bidding. I am carried along by an irresistible power. I am success. I am success. I am success. There is no evil, only infinite good. There is no evil, only infinite good. There is no evil, only infinite good. In the future, I am going to close my eyes to the imperfections of other people and endeavor only to see their good points. Everyone has lovable traits in his or her character. Even the hardest case has a soft spot somewhere. Therefore, in the future, I will look only for the lovable traits and the soft spots. In everyone, I shall see something to admire and reverence something to love. And I shall not stop with people. I will also look for the good in every circumstance, in every difficulty, in every failure. I will look for the good in every blade of grass, in every opening flower, in the wind that blows and the sun that burns my cheek, rain or sunshine, fair weather or foul. I will see good in everything, see perfection underlying all. Out of these will grow a new sympathy, a more extensive an embracing love, a larger and wider consciousness for everyone and everything are my brothers. Each form a part of the one whole. We are one with one another and the universal life and mind of which we each form an individual part. In the future, I am going to close my eyes to the imperfections of other people and endeavor only to see their good points. Everyone has lovable traits in his or her character. Even the hardest case has a soft spot somewhere. Therefore, in the future, I will look only for lovable traits and soft spots. In everyone, I shall see something to admire and revere, 
something to love. And I shall not stop with people. I will also look for the good in every circumstance, in every difficulty, in every failure. I will look for the good in every blade of grass, in every opening flower, in the wind that blows and the sun that burns my cheek. Rain or sunshine, fair weather or foul, I will see good in everything. I will see perfection underlying all. Out of these will grow a new sympathy, a more extensive and embracing love, a larger and wider consciousness for everyone and everything are my brothers, each form a part of the one whole. We are one with one another and the universal life and mind of which we each form an individual part. In the future, I'm going to close my eyes to the imperfections of other people and endeavor only to see their good points. Everyone has lovable traits in his or her character. Even the hardest case has a soft spot somewhere. Therefore, in the future, I will only look for lovable traits and the soft spots. In everyone, I shall see something to admire and revere, something to love. And I shall not stop with people. I will also look for the good in every circumstance, in every difficulty, in every failure. I will look for the good in every blade of grass and every opening flower, in the wind that blows and the sun that burns my cheek. Rain or sunshine, fair weather or foul, I will see good in everything. See perfection underlying all. Out of these will grow a new sympathy, a more extensive and embracing love, a larger and wider consciousness for everyone and everything are my brothers. Each forms a part of the one. We are one with one another and the universal life and mind of which we each form an individual part. I know that I can concentrate on any subject I please. My potential powers are infinite. I have only to develop them. I have only to try and I must succeed. I know that I can concentrate on any subject I please. My potential powers are infinite. I have only to develop them. I have only to try and I must succeed. I know that I can concentrate on any subject I please. My potential powers are infinite. I have only to develop them. I have only to try and I must succeed. I give to the world the best I have and the best comes back to me. I give to the world the best I have and the best comes back to me. I give to the world the best I have and the best comes back to me. There is no need for me to anxiously snatch and grab, to hoard and scrape, to cheat and squeeze my fellow men. I do not have to run after success and fortune. Instead, they kneel down at my feet and pay me homage. I need stoop to no subterfuges, no low cunning, no doubtful methods, for everything I need is mine. All that I desire comes to me by the operation of natural law. I realize now that I am one with and form a part of the infinite mind. I realize that the infinite mind is everything there is and that everything there is is infinite mind. Therefore, as I am a part of the infinite mind, I too am all things and all things are in me. Therefore, everything that I can possibly require, peace of mind and health of body, achievements of friends, love, prosperity, success, these are all mine. They hasten to minister to my eternal joy. I am a magnet. I attract to myself only the highest good. I am attuned only to the highest vibration of health, success, accomplishment, happiness. The lower vibrations of disease, failure, want, and unhappiness can find no echo in my mind, no manifestations in my life. I am, in my inner higher better self, a radiant and sublime mental being partaking of the nature of the infinite mind, of which I form a part and in whom I live and move and have my being. I pour out, 
unstintedly upon my fellows my best work and efforts, my richest thoughts and emotions, I give to the world the very best that is mine. Yet the more unselfishly I give, the more richly I am blessed, the more abundantly are life's choicest gifts showered upon me. There is no need for me to anxiously snatch and grab, to hoard and scrape, to cheat and squeeze my fellow man. I do not have to run after success and fortune. Instead, they kneel down at my feet and pay me homage. I need stoop to no subterfuges, no low cunning, no doubtful methods, for everything I need is mine. All that I desire comes to me by the operation of natural law. I realize now that I am one with and form a part of the infinite mind. I realize that the infinite mind is everything there is, and that everything there is is infinite mind. Therefore, as I am a part of the infinite mind, I too am all things, and all things are in me. Therefore, everything that I can possibly require, peace of mind and health of body, achievement of friends, love, prosperity, and success, these are all mine. They hasten to minister to my eternal joy. I am a magnet. I attract to myself only the highest good. I am attuned only to the highest vibration of health, success, accomplishment, happiness. The lower vibrations of disease, failure, want, and unhappiness can find no echo in my mind, no manifestation in my life. I am in my inner, higher, better self, a radiant and sublime mental being, a partaking of the nature of the infinite mind of which I form a part and in whom I live and move and have my being. I pour out unstintedly upon my fellows my best work and efforts, my richest thoughts and emotions. I give to the world the very best that is mine, yet the more unselfishly I give, the more richly I am blessed, the more abundantly are life's choicest gifts showered upon me. There is no need for me to anxiously snatch and grab, to hoard and scrape, to cheat and squeeze my fellow man. I do not have to run after success and fortune. Instead, they kneel down at my feet and pay me homage. I need stoop to no subterfuges, no low cunning, no doubtful methods, for everything I need is mine. All that I desire comes to me by the operation of natural law. I realize now that I am one with and form a part of the infinite mind. I realize that the infinite mind is everything there is, and that everything there is is infinite mind. Therefore, as I am a part of the infinite mind, I too am all things, and all things are in me. Therefore, everything that I can possibly require, peace of mind and health of body, achievement of friends, love, prosperity, success, these are all mine. They hasten to minister to my eternal joy. I am a magnet. I attract to myself only the highest good. I am attuned only to the highest vibration of health, success, accomplishment, happiness. The lower vibrations of disease, failure, want, and unhappiness can find no echo in my mind, no manifestation in my life. I am in my inner, higher, better self, a radiant and sublime mental being, partaking of the nature of the infinite mind of which I form a part and in whom I live and move and have my being. I pour out unstintedly upon my fellows, my best work and efforts, my richest thoughts and emotions. I give to the world the very best that is mine. Yet the more unselfishly I give, the more richly I am blessed, the more abundantly are life's choices, gifts showered upon me. I am success. Everything that I attempt, I completely accomplish. I am success. I am success. Everything that I attempt, I completely accomplish. I am success. I am success. Everything that I attempt, I completely accomplish. I am success. I am grateful for the many blessings in my life. I am grateful for the many blessings in my life. I am grateful for the many blessings in my life. Today, I look for and appreciate the good. Today, I look for and appreciate the good. Today, I look for and appreciate the good. I welcome joy into my life. 
I welcome joy into my life. I welcome joy into my life. I am in tune with the abundant nature of the universe. I am in tune with the abundant nature of the universe. I am in tune with the abundant nature of the universe. My body knows what is best for my health and well-being. My body knows what's best for my health and well-being. My body knows what's best for my health and well-being. I attract the perfect people at the right time. I attract the perfect people at the right time. I attract the perfect people at the right time. I deserve happiness and success. I deserve happiness and success. I deserve happiness and success. I am worthy. I am enough. I am worthy. I am enough. I am worthy. I am enough. I create my life on a quantum level. There are endless opportunities. I create my life on a quantum level. There are endless opportunities. I create my life on a quantum level. There are endless opportunities. I have a healthy body, tranquil mind, and a vibrant soul. I have a healthy body, tranquil mind, and a vibrant soul. I have a healthy body, tranquil mind, and a vibrant soul. I let go of negativity in any shape or form. I let go of negativity in any shape or form. I let go of negativity in any shape or form. I appreciate the little things in life. I appreciate the little things in life. I appreciate the little things in life. I am blessed to have a wonderful family and friends. I am blessed to have a wonderful family and friends. I am blessed to have a wonderful family and friends. I focus on action to create the life I want. The smallest step can end years of stagnation. I focus on action to create the life I want. The smallest step can end years of stagnation. I know my intuition will always take me in the right direction. I know my intuition will always take me in the right direction. I know my intuition will always take me in the right direction. I can become anything I put my mind to. I can become anything I put my mind to. I can become anything I put my mind to. I believe in my dreams and I won't stop until they become real. I believe in my dreams and I won't stop until they become real. I believe in my dreams and I won't stop until they become real. I will always give when I can because I know it always comes back. I always give when I can because I know it always comes back. I always give when I can because I know it comes back. I see failure as a golden opportunity to learn. I see failure as a golden opportunity to learn. I see failure as a golden opportunity to learn. I know that massive action cures everything. 
I know that massive action cures everything. I know that massive action cures everything. I love the creative energy that flows through me. I love the creative energy that flows through me. I love the creative energy that flows through me. I believe in the power of the living God. I believe in the power of the living God. I believe in the power of the living God. I am finding the power of the living God. I am finding the power of the living God. I am finding the power of the living God. My thoughts are a part of the living God. My thoughts are a part of the living God. My thoughts are a part of the living God. I am finding the power of the living God law. I am finding the power of the living God law. I am finding the power of the living God law. I will become more than I am. I will achieve more because I know that I can. I will recognize only that which is good in myself, that which is good in others. I will be more determined when adversity threatens than ever in my life to prove that I can turn all things to good account. I will wish only for that which can give freedom and truth, which can add to the welfare of the race. I will always speak to give encouragement, inspiration, and joy. I will work to be of service to an ever-increasing number, and my ruling desire shall be to enrich and mobile and beautify existence for all who may come my way. I will become more than I am. I will achieve more because I know that I can. I will recognize only that which is good in myself, that which is good in others. I will be more determined when adversity threatens than ever in my life to prove that I can turn all things to good account. I will wish only for that which can give freedom and truth, which can add to the welfare of the race. I will always speak to give encouragement, inspiration, and joy. I will work to be of service to an ever-increasing number, and my ruling desire shall be to enrich and mobile and beautify existence for all who may come my way. I will become more than I am. I will achieve more because I know that I can. I will recognize only that which is good in myself, that which is good in others. I will be more determined when adversity threatens than ever in my life to prove that I can turn all things to good account. I will wish only for that which can give freedom and truth which can add to the welfare of the race. I will always speak to give encouragement, inspiration, and joy. I will work to be of service to an ever-increasing number, and my ruling desire shall be to enrich and mobile and beautify existence for all who may come my way. I am united with him. I am able to do what he wills me to do. It is my duty to obey the inner urge of my being, that divine ambition to measure up to my highest possibilities, whichever bids me up and on. I will never again allow anything to interfere with the free and full exercise of my physical, mental, and spiritual faculties. I will unfold all the possibilities that the Creator has enfolded in the ego, the eye of me, 
There is no lost day in God's calendar, no allowance for waste. And henceforth, I will make the most of the stuff that has been given me. I will play the part of a son of omnipotence. I am united with him. I am able to do what he wills me to do. It is my duty to obey the inner urge of my being, that divine ambition to measure up to my highest possibilities, whichever bids me up and on. I will never again allow anything to interfere with the free and full exercise of my physical, mental, and spiritual faculties. I will unfold all the possibilities that the Creator has infolded in the ego, the eye of me. There is no lost day in God's calendar, no allowance for waste, and henceforth I will make the most of the stuff that has been given me. I will play the part of a son of omnipotence. I am united with him. I am able to do what he wills me to do. It is my duty to obey the inner urge of my being, that divine ambition to measure up to my highest possibilities, whichever bids me up and on. I will never again allow anything to interfere with the free and full exercise of my physical, mental, and spiritual faculties. I will unfold all the possibilities that the Creator has infolded in the ego, the eye of me. There is no lost day in God's calendar, no allowance for waste, and henceforth I will make the most of the stuff that has been given me. I will play the part of a son of omnipotence. I was intended for happiness, made for it, and I am happy now. I was intended for happiness, made for it, and I am happy now. I was intended for happiness, made for it, and I am happy now. Know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now. I know and believe these thoughts. Seeds will grow and manifest themselves in my experience. I am the gardener as I sow, so shall I reap. I sow godlike thoughts, seeds. These wonderful seeds are peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest from this moment forward I am depositing in the universal bank my subconscious mind seeds or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise, and balance. I am drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I am depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed deposited in the ground will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground, becomes objectified as a condition, circumstance, or event. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatever things are true, honest, just, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things, and God's power is with my thoughts of good. I am at peace. I know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now. I know and believe these thought seeds will grow and manifest themselves in my experience. I am the gardener. As I sow, so shall I reap. I sow God-like thought seeds. These wonderful seeds are peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest. From this moment forward, I am depositing in the universal bank my subconscious mind, seeds, or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise, and balance. I am drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I am depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed is deposited in the ground and it will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also, my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground and becomes objectified as a condition, circumstance, or event. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatsoever things are true, honest, just, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things and God's power is with my thoughts of good. 
I am at peace. I know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now. I know and believe these thought seeds will grow and manifest themselves in my experience. I am the gardener, and as I sow, so shall I reap. I sow God-like thought seeds. These wonderful seeds are peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest. From this moment forward, I am depositing in the universal bank of my subconscious mind seeds or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise, and balance. I am drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I am depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed deposited in the ground will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground and becomes objectified as a condition circumstance or event. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatsoever things are true, honest, just, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things and God's power is with my thoughts of good. I am at peace. I know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself. Harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now. I know and believe these thoughts will grow and manifest themselves in my experience. I am the gardener. As I sow, so shall I reap. I sow God-like thoughts. These wonderful seeds are peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest from this moment forward. I am depositing in the universal bank my subconscious mind seeds or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise, and balance. I'm drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I'm depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed deposited in the ground will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground, becomes objectified as a condition, circumstance, or event. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatsoever things are true honest, just, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things and God's power with my thoughts of good. I am at peace. Thou shall make thy way prosperous, and then thou shall have good success. I now give a pattern of success and prosperity to the deep mind within me, which is the law. I now identify myself with the infinite source of supply. I listen to the still small voice of God within me, this inner voice leads, guides, and governs all of my activities. I am one with the abundance of God. I know and believe that there are new and better ways of conducting my business. Infinite intelligence reveals the new ways to me. I am growing in wisdom and understanding. My business is God's business. I am divinely prospered in all ways. Divine wisdom within me reveals the ways and means by which all of my affairs are adjusted in the right way immediately. The words of faith and conviction which I now speak open up all the necessary doors or avenues for my success and prosperity. I know that the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. My feet are kept in the perfect path because I am a son of the living God. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I now give a pattern of success and prosperity to the deep mind within me, which is the law. I now identify myself with the infinite source of supply. I listen to the still small voice of God within me. This inner voice leads, guides, and governs all of my activities. I am one with the abundance of God. I know and believe there are new and better ways of conducting my business. Infinite intelligence reveals the new ways to me. 
I am growing in wisdom and understanding. My business is God's business. I am divinely prospered in all ways. Divine wisdom within me reveals and means by which all my affairs are adjusted in the right way immediately. The words of faith and conviction which I now speak open up all the necessary doors or avenues for my success and prosperity. I know that the Lord Law will perfect that which concerns me. My feet are kept in the perfect path because I am a son of the living God. Thou shall make thy way prosperous and then thou shall have good success. I now give a pattern of success and prosperity to the deep mind within me which is the law. I now identify myself with the infinite source of supply. I listen to the still small voice of God within me. This inner voice leads, guides, and governs all of my activities. I am one with the abundance of God. I know and believe that there are new and better ways of conducting my business. Infinite intelligence reveals the new ways to me. I am growing in wisdom and understanding. My business is God's business. I am divinely prospered in all ways. Divine wisdom within me reveals the ways and means by which all of my affairs are adjusted in the right way immediately. The words of faith and conviction which I now speak open up all the necessary doors or avenues for my success and prosperity. I know that the Lord, the law, will perfect that which concerns me. My feet are kept in the perfect path because I am a son of the living God. I know that to prosper means to grow spiritually along all lines. God is prospering me now in mind, body, and affairs. God's ideas constantly unfold within me, bringing me health, wealth, and perfect divine expression. I thrill inwardly as I feel the life of God vitalizing every atom of my being. I know that God's life is animating, sustaining, and strengthening me now. I am now expressing a perfect, radiant body full of vitality, energy, and power. My business or profession is a divine activity, and since it is God's business, it is successful and prosperous. I imagine and feel an inner wholeness functioning through my body, mind, and affairs. I give thanks and rejoice in the abundant life. I know that to prosper means to grow spiritually along all lines. God is prospering me now in mind, body, and affairs. God's ideas constantly unfold within me, bringing to me health, wealth, and perfect divine expression. I thrill inwardly as I feel the life of God vitalizing every atom of my being. I know that God's life is animating, sustaining, and strengthening me now. I am now expressing a perfect, radiant body full of vitality, energy, and power. My business or profession is a divine activity, and since it is God's business, it is successful and prosperous. I imagine and feel an inner wholeness functioning through my body, mind, and affairs. I give thanks and rejoice in the abundant life. I know that to prosper means to grow spiritually along all lines. God is prospering me now in mind, body, and affairs. God's ideas constantly unfold within me bringing me health, wealth, and perfect divine expression. I thrill inwardly as I feel the life of God vitalizing every atom of my being. I know that God's life is animating, sustaining, and strengthening me now. I am now expressing a perfect, radiant body full of vitality, energy, and power. My business or profession is a divine activity, and since it is God's business, it is successful and prosperous. I imagine and feel an inner wholeness functioning through my body, mind, and affairs. I give thanks and rejoice in the abundant life. I make it my daily practice to imagine only for myself and others that which is noble, wonderful, and Christ-like. I now imagine that I am doing the thing I long to do. I imagine that I now possess the thing I long to possess. I imagine I am what I long to be. To make it real, I feel the reality of it. I know that it is so. Thank you, Father. I make it my daily practice to imagine only for myself and others that which is noble, wonderful, and Christ-like. I now imagine that I am doing the thing I long to do. I imagine that I now possess the things 
I long to possess. I imagine I am what I long to be. To make it real, I feel the reality of it. I know that it is so. I make it my daily practice to imagine only for myself and others that which is noble, wonderful, and Christ-like. I now imagine that I am doing the thing I long to do. I imagine that I now possess the things I long to possess. I imagine I am what I long to be. To make it real, I feel the reality of it. I know that it is so. Thank you, Father. Now just take a few moments and just sit in pondering this huge shift in expression of who you are and what you are and what you're about to do. Thank you so much. You can either choose to go to sleep now or you can come back and go out and have just the most magnificent day. Let these thoughts seep in and come back and do this often so that you start to remember them and they start to flow deep into your subconscious mind. They become a part of who you are because you are special. You're powerful. You're amazing. You are infinite good. Welcome to the Reality Revolution.